Pupils from Tlibini Secondary School in Vepna deal with issues of gangsterism, teenage pregnancy and drug and alcohol abuse on a daily basis. So MTN SA Foundation came up with a peer-to-peer -peer education program which encourages behavioural change amongst young people from one pupil to the next because learners are more likely to listen to their peers than to adults. Let's see how the program works. On the flat, boundless plains in the heart of the Free State lies Vepner, a small town faced by many social ills, which result in the youth living a risky behaviour and threatening their future. Living in this community can be very difficult sometimes because we are faced with challenges where um, there's poverty, like we've got teenage pregnancy, gangsterism and substance abuse that are used mainly by the youth. Uh, some families can't afford to bring kids to school, Orphaned and vulnerable children are the core victims in the area. Balisa is one of the youngsters who had to fend for herself. Without parental guidance and care, children can be led astray and end up nowhere in life. To fight this obstacle, MTNSA Foundation, in partnership with the Alliance Against HIV and AIDS, implemented peer education programs in schools that promote behavior change and healthy lifestyle. MTNSA Foundation got involved in peer education because we realized that in our pursuit of promoting healthy lifestyles in communities, which is our goal, the peer education focuses on life skills. When these learners are still very, very young, they're going to be better citizens. We start with the champions. The champions are the educators. We have a workshop with them. Then we have the peer educators, uh, which is our learners. We train them about uh, contraception, sexuality, medical mess circumcision. You come with uh, a debate, you come with a topic where there is the one-on-one -on -one session, question and answer, you know, something that makes fun, and after making it fun, now they go and present it to their peers. Learners who are trained as peer educators are able to reach and to talk about sensitive topics that an adult will not easily talk about. Orphans and vulnerable children tend to be more isolated because they have to take on the roles of being adults at home. Their peer educators are not only their teachers, but their friends and sometimes their only confidants. We have initiated a program which is, we said, is Adopt a Learner, whereby educators adopt the learners that are, that are struggling, that they, that they don't have anything. They target learners and give them information on HIV, drug abuse, alcohol abuse prevention, sexual abuse, and also gender-based violence. Sex. I can't hear it because of I don't. I can't find much money body yaka just because yeah, I wanna be with them. I can't keep up because of I don't want the baby at this rate. I want to fulfill my dreams. I want to be a doctor, and I'm gonna do it. We have teachers who like we talk to school children, school children. If you really need support, maybe at home you, it's there's difficulty at school. At school they would have extra classes for you if the, you find some subjects very difficult. And at home they provide you with um, a place to live in, so they're really helping. A school is a node of care and support where every stakeholder, every department is involved. If you need a spiritual counselling, you know where to refer you. If you know you, you need a counselling in terms of family matters, we know we have social workers. What we did to make this project so special, we included um, one of our uh, peer educator, an SGB member, the principal, a teacher and a community member. So that it's a holistic program. Jolo ka MTN ba re donate 20 computers ne bana 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 le access mo internet eh ba khone hore ba ba fumane information e ba thusang ho ba chincha ho tswa mo bantse malinteng ho ba batho ba bitirenyana 
e ke ntse re batlang go bona bana ba gona ba le yona ba le leveleng le nngwe le bana ba ba South Africa ka ofe le le fatse ka ofe good enough to provide the infrastructure your computer labs your training in science but if learners cannot make informed decision then all those efforts they come to waste in most cases a free generation school where we saying there are no pregnant girls in school their main focus is i'm here to study everything is catered for me so there's no more uh, any excuse to fail for you you should maintain your success get a's and go to tertiary you know MTN SA Foundation's peer education is not the only intervention by the network giant. Part of their integrated approach are the food gardens because they understand that learners cannot learn on an empty stomach. So our programs they don't only address the school per se because we understand that a school is part of the broader community. You know that in areas like Bepenar there's a lot of poverty where you find that a child comes to school without a meal. So we've introduced sustainability projects like the food garden through the expanded uh, public works programs the municipality is supporting the maintenance and the establishment of the vegetable gardens because so that the learners can have more time to learn ba go thusa ka dijo le phatlo tsa skolo ke thusa ba go thusa ka tsona we've seen signs of self sustainability because what we've also done we've, we've not only concentrated on the on the, the, the learners we've also concentrated on the educators the life orientation educators we've partnered with UNISA where they underwent a workshop on mentoring of peer educators so we believe that with with that information they will be able to carry on on their own because i mean for 5 years we've planted the seed it's for them to help germinate the seed and bear the fruits at the end of the day It's amazing how having a slight change to our education system and turning peer pressure on its back can have such a positive outcome for our children's future. Oh.